Hello everyone, welcome to the financial information channel. My name is Marvin. In this video, I am going to mention seven things to know before you invest in the stock market. And if this is the first video that you see, I make videos about the stock market, personal finance and how to make money online. So you can consider subscribing. But now let's begin with the video about the stock market. And I'm going to mention seven things to know before you invest in the stock market. And the first thing is to know how to plan your investments. And what I mean by planning, you need to get an idea how much of your portfolio are going to be invested in stocks, in an index fund, ETFs, or in bonds. And even though that planning is simple, it can become very challenging when you start investing in the stock market. And one of the main reasons is you might want to invest everything at once in one or two stocks. So one suggestion would be to plan how much percentage are you planning to receive from one or multiple stocks. So that would be the first one. Now the second one is very simple and one suggestion would be to invest into an index fund. An index fund gives you the exposure of having 500 companies in that specific index. And the main idea of an index fund is to get diversified right away. In case we have a bear market, you won't take a huge hit if the stock market goes bad. Also an index fund is gonna reduce the risk in the stock market. The best index funds that I have seen are from Vanguard and Fidelity. Those type of index funds have lower expense ratio. And the expense ratio is the amount that you pay to have that specific index fund. Now for number three is to get an idea how many stocks are you going to have in your portfolio. There is no magic number of how many stocks you need to have in your portfolio. However, in my opinion, it is better to start slow and then you add more stocks along the way. I started investing in the stock market in 2009 with only three stocks, but I continued to adding more stocks throughout the years. And for number four, you need to get an idea what type of investor are you gonna be from the start. You can be a day trader, a swing trader, a long-term investor, or a dividend investor. Now you can change that later in a few years, but I think it is important to get an idea and only focus on only one type of investment in the first few years. And in my opinion, the two easiest investment styles are the dividend investors and the long-term investors. Now for number five, it's very simple. Only buy what you know. And that is very important to follow because if you invest in a company that you know, then you can get an idea where the company might be headed in the next few years. And the main idea is that you will become very familiar with that type of business right away. So if I invest, for example, in FedEx or Google, those two companies are a little bit different, but the business are very simple to follow. And those businesses are very familiar to me. Now for number six, it is really important to know how volatile the stock market can be at times. And even if the stock is a low volatility stock, at some point that specific company might have trouble. So you need to be ready and create an action plan in case that specific company drops in price in a few months. Usually that rarely happens, but it could happen to a company that has a beta of less than one. And the number seven is that history tends to repeat itself. And we hear a lot of arguments that people say that past performance doesn't guarantee future performance, and that is completely correct. However, there are some history patterns and trends that continue throughout the years. For example, a stock with a history of being profitable, that trend continues to keep up. And same thing can be said with a dividend stock that continues to increase that dividend throughout the years. Just look at Boeing, for example, that company might struggle for one year or two years, but that dividend increase has been there for multiple decades. So I would suggest to do a little bit of research in that specific company that you plan to invest and get an idea how the company has behaved in the last few years or in the last few decades. And with that said, those are the seven things to know before you start investing in the stock market. Let me know in the comment sections if I left anything from this video. To me, all seven are very important. However, at the beginning, it was hard to plan in my case. I just wanted to invest everything at once instead of buying in portions. So that was a little bit challenging at first. And this is gonna be everything for this video. Please leave a like in this video if you find it helpful. In addition, you can subscribe to the financial information channel. I'm gonna continue making videos about the stock market, personal finance, and how to make money online. I am going to thank you once again for watching the video. Have an excellent day and take care, my friends.